Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Will It Run, the show on the internet where we try to make this uh, monster gasoline engine run on things other than gasoline. Now, uh, you can check out our playlist. I'll put a link over here. You can see all our previous uh, episodes. Today, we're going to try and get this to run on paraffin wax. Let's see. This is smokeless and odorless candle and lamp oil. Yeah, 99% pure liquid pa uh, wax paraffin. And whale oil was actually replaced by kerosene when they discovered that that was an option because, of course, whales are beginning to go extinct and they're just... It was getting harder and harder to get more and more expensive. So they're pesky to catch those silly whales. Yeah, because they because we were running to running them to extinction. So it's uh, it was a lot cheaper to use kerosene. And this, I'm not exactly sure uh, the difference between uh, paraffin and kerosene and why you would use one over the other. Um, although I do believe uh, paraffin wax is more of a European thing and kerosene is more of an American thing. But hold on, is paraffin hold on. an actual petroleum product that is called wax? Oh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, if you have any idea, leave a comment down below and uh, enlighten us. So if it's so great, I should be able to run my monster engine on this. Now this again is a four-stroke uh, single cylinder and I think about a liter of displacement. Don't hold me to it. Uh, however, this is a, uh, a Cushman Cub model R20. Uh, this is gonna be the three horsepower size. Um, but I believe it's like roughly one liter or, or somewhere in that area. And this here is what I mean when I say uh, paraffin lamp. And then, of course, you can see here I can uh, uh, rotate this here, and this will, you see that wick goes up and down, and this soaks in kerosene down here. And, of course, you wouldn't want it up that high. you get all kinds of flame, but you'd want to have it down right about here, and that give you decent flame. <laughs> That is just so pretty. I just can't help myself. We got to be careful though. This this smoke is going to be incredibly flammable. I want to get a light match and try and light it on fire now that you said that. One and a quarter turn of the um, needling valve here. And again, on gasoline, that'll run on just over a quarter of a turn. I probably could have gotten that to run a fair bit more rich. But again, this stuff is expensive and it just sucked it all up. So, <laughs> you know, it seemed to me with all this... Um, smoke coming out the exhaust that that would be uh, perfect to burn. So what we're going to do very carefully is we're going to bring this up richer and richer and we're going to have a, a, a flame out here and we're going to see if we can get this to sustain a flame on the exhaust. Okay, you want to you wanna do something other than what you're doing, pal? Sure. No, I mean this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, smoke!
I, I was standing in the cloud of smoke while you were trying to light it on fire. I was the one worried about it ending badly. <laughs> yeah, man. There it is. So this is super crazy dangerous. That right there is Balin Mania, and we are going to do something really stupid today. This is a terrible idea. Balin might die. He's making me uncomfortable. Go, Balin! <laughs> you riding this? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Balin said not to talk crap about this camera. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> this is so unbelievably sketchy. Why would you put me through this, you jerk? That's the power of really old engineering. It'd be nice if it didn't kill me, it's not required. I felt it fucking pop. Make a wish, everyone. Make a wish. Not okay. <laughs> you went too far. This guy, man, this guy. 